Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back taking a look at some of the latest and newest top tweaks for the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. Now I know it's been quite some time since we've taken a look at some of the new tweaks. So that is why in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at 15 of my favorite new tweaks. So before we begin, definitely check out the first link down below in this video's description. It's going to have the entire tweak list from today's video, as well as all of the sources and repositories needed to install them. And very lastly, before we begin, for all of those A12 users out there, don't forget to bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker pages so you guys can be notified the second the jailbreak is updated for your guys' devices. Anyway, let's get directly into things, taking a look at some of my favorite new tweaks for this jailbreak. All right, so to start off, let's go ahead and pull down my notification center right here. Here I have quite a few things going on. Now, as you guys probably know, I have Jellyfish installed, which brings this awesome clock widget right here to the lock screen and notification center. But one of the new widgets I wanted to show you guys is actually called Talion, and it brings these nice kind of complications to the lock screen. And right now I have the weather and battery widget enabled right now. Basically, you have two positions where you can enable different widgets, and there's quite a bit of variety that you guys can choose from. Now, the reason why I went to the notification center instead of just the lock screen was to actually show you guys what my notifications look like. Now, I have color banners too to colorize them based on the app colors, but the new tweak that I wanted to tell you guys about is called Notifica, and it brings this awesome new layout slash look, I guess, to the actual notifications where the application icon is above the notification. Now, another widget that I'm really fond of lately is called Weather 12. And right now I have it enabled via Zen HTML and Zen Info on my home screen. And it basically just shows the weather as well as the time right down here. But you guys can actually place this on the lock screen if you guys want to as well. But that one's called Weather 12. Now, a really cool one that was just released, I think literally yesterday is called Smart Rotate. So if I go, into the orientation lock if I just force press it. Now I have a couple options here. As you guys can see, it says portrait only or disable only in videos. So if I click that right there, now my device is locked to portrait mode. Um, if I pull up something like Safari right here, as you guys can see, it's locked in portrait mode. But if I actually go ahead and try to start a video, then it changes to landscape. So that one right there is called Smart Rotate, and it's an awesome one. It adds the really cool interface to actually disable um, portrait mode only in videos. So a really interesting one that I thought I would share with you guys is called Better Reachability. So if I just pull up Reachability, now it actually scales down the entire user interface of the iPhone and you can actually drag it to the left and right. But basically now you can use your iPhone um, as you would expect, but it's just miniaturized. So you can kind of use it with one hand if you guys want to and then just swipe down at the bottom to get back to the regular size thing. But instead of the normal reachability, let's see, yeah, that's kind of what the normal reachability looks like. Um, instead of that, now you have this nice little scaled down interface. So the next one I wanted to share with you guys is called Alarm Fade. Now this basically fades in the alarm in the mornings, which it's a kind of quality of life tweak, but I really like it because it works really well. Basically the only settings toggle that you have right here is the seconds duration of how long the fade is going to be, but I set a alarm for a 1020. So let's go ahead and demo this on screen so you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like. So there we have it guys, it's starting off super quiet and I'm guessing over the next about minute it's going to just gradually increase the volume level and that's really interesting, the volume HUD actually came up but there you guys see it's slowly rising the volume level of the alarm. So I'll just give it a second so you guys can see. And there was that gradual increase that I want to show you guys. Anyway guys, that one's called Alarm Fade. I think you get the gist of that. So another great quality of life one is when you're taking an application and dragging it into a folder, if you actually hold, it will open the folder um, like normal. But typically when you just hover over it, immediately that folder is going to open. 
But if you want to drag multiple applications in at once, this tweak called Folder Open No More lets you simply just start to drag uh, and drop a bunch of applications in without actually opening up the folder. So that one's called Folder Open No More. It's an awesome one that I think you guys should definitely check out. All right, so again, on the new tweak release list, this one is called Call Recorder X Plus. And this basically does what it says. It records your incoming and outgoing phone calls. So just to demo this, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the phone application here. Um, I'm going to cover up my phone number real fast, but I'm just going to call myself. And uh, so I'll call myself. And as you guys can see, we have the record icon right there. And this is just going to go to my voicemail, but All right, so that's kind of a good example. I placed the call, did absolutely nothing, and in the background, as you guys can see, I have one notification on call recorder, and if I go into this, now I have two saved calls. One is at 1022 that just happened, and uh, you can actually go ahead and put it on speaker right here, so you guys can hear it, and if I hit play. And that's really cool. It actually transcribes the message right there. But as you guys can see, uh, it entirely records your phone conversations, which I think is a great feature to have. I don't know how legal this one is in all cases and in all states and countries, but use this one at your guys' own discretion. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more in this video. The next one I wanted to talk about is called Big Cards. Now, this one basically just makes the cards in the multitasking pane a lot larger. It's pretty much the entire screen, as you guys can see. Just an awesome little tweak if you guys want your cards to be a little bit bigger. All right, in contrast, if you want your applications in the multitasking pane to be smaller and have more of them, this one called Mini Grid Switcher brings up a more iPad-esque style multitasking pane with six applications present. So that's a pretty cool alternative as well. So a pretty fun one, Nude Keys has actually been updated for iOS 12. So that just removes the background of the individual keys on your keyboard. So another fun one is called Harbor 2, which basically brings the Mac OS style dock with the magnification to your iPhone. Granted, this one is kind of buggy with other tweaks installed like floating dock and things like that, but it still does the job and it still looks pretty sweet in my opinion. Anyway guys, that one's called Harbor 2. Now, very lastly in this video, we'll do an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R specific tweak. This one is called Notch Volume HUD. And it's a really fun little volume indicator HUD that I like to have on my device. Again, it's pretty new, but around the notch on the iPhone 10, now you have your volume status displayed right there. And I think that's a really neat and interesting way to kind of hide the volume HUD, but it works super well. Anyway, guys, that one's called Notch Volume HUD. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, taking a look at 15 some new tweaks for the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys think I missed a tweak or if you have a favorite that I missed, definitely let me know down below in the comments section. And of course, before you head out, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Again, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker pages for you A12 users if you guys don't wanna miss out when the jailbreak utility is updated. That's about all I have for you in this video. Thank you again so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony Sunny.